hello everyone better understanding of the industrial property rights system and the role of japan patent office i'm shintaro kaido your navigator today i've worked hard learning all about the patent i'd like to explain about the industrial property rights system and the japan patent office in detail and in plain language i'm hikari tasaki his assistant i like to learn about those rights together with you all i'm looking forward to it Now, Now, let's start, let's start thinking, thinking about, about the industrial, industrial property rights and the, and the role, role of the Japan, Japan Patent, Patent Office. We hardly hear the phrase, industrial property rights on a daily basis, do we? Industrial property is one of the two main categories of the intellectual property rights. The intellectual property rights? Yes. Now, Let me first explain about the intellectual property rights are. Intellectual property rights are exclusive rights given for a certain period of time to the person who has originated an idea. In other words, they are the rights to protect tangible ideas. I see. So let's say a person comes up with an idea, but another person may claim the ownership. Then the originator may lose his or her right. The legal system can prevent this from happening. That's correct. Intellectual property rights include various types of rights, such as patents, copyrights, trade secrets, trade names, etc. Among these, patents, utility models, designs, and trademarks fall within the industrial property rights. In Japan, These rights are under the control of the Japan Patent Office. I see. Then, let's start with learning about the patent right of the industrial property rights. Let's start now, shall we? Better, Better understanding, understanding of, of patents. patents. In our society, new things are invented one after another, contributing to our better lives and society. It is a patent right that protects inventions and ideas created by technological developments. The patent system grants an applicant or representative an exclusive right to the patented invention while publishing the invention in order to enhance further technological development. For example, hundreds of patented technologies are applied to this digital camera. With these technological advancements, the picture quality has improved drastically, and a feature such as the image stabilizing system has made it easier for the users to capture better quality images. How does the patent technology lead us to rich and convenient lifestyle? Here's a good example from history. Let's take a look at how mobile phones have changed over time. The first mobile phone in Japan was introduced in 1987. The size looks quite large and it looks quite primitive. You're right. The first mobile phone weighed as much as 900 grams, thanks to the patent technologies developed by mobile phone manufacturers. However, mobile phones have become smaller and more sophisticated. The older models displayed here don't look like they even fit in our pockets. They take me back to those days. True. The latest mobile phones are very thin and stylish. And they offer so many functions. Another major patent technology of note is the wireless function. With this technology, pictures and videos can be sent through mobile phones using its mail function, which was just unimaginable with the first type of mobile phone. These days, smartphones, which are multi function phones, Are also gaining popularity. What we take for granted every day is, in fact, based on the evolution of each patent and technology. Yes, picture quality has greatly improved, and the speed for sending pictures has also been significantly upgraded. Indeed, the mobile phones have evolved in vast thanks to a large number of patent technologies. Our lifestyle has become a lot more convenient. Just taking the mobile phone, for example, we can see the importance of patents and technologies. Then, how do you obtain a patent? Here are the procedures for it. First, you must file a patent application by submitting an application form. 
a specification, and drawings. There are two ways to submit application documents. The first one is by mailing or bringing the documents to the Japan Patent Office. And the second one is by sending them by the internet. If you mail them, you are required to pay a service charge for digitizing the documents. Currently, about 97% of all the applications are submitted by the internet. A formality examination of the submitted application is conducted to make sure all pertinent information is provided. After 18 months of filing, the application contents are published in publication and also online. The applicant makes a request for examination, followed by a substantive examination. This is a strict examination conducted by an examiner at the Japan Patent Office to check if any similar applications have been filed before. Once the application passes this examination, the applicant receives a notice for registration and pays annual fees at the grant of a patent. What will happen if the application doesn't pass the examination? Since the reasons for not having passed the examinations are to be provided, the applicant will still have a chance to make corrections. Also, you can make a request for appeal trial when you don't want to accept the examiner's decision. Our nice and comfortable lives are supported by inventions created by many people, aren't they? How many patent applications are filed? And how many patents are registered every year? There are about 400,000 patent applications and 200,000 registrations per year. That many? That's right. And the ideas that come from everyone can work as a bridge to a brighter future. Now, let's move on to utility models. We'll also certainly explain the frequently asked questions about the difference between patent and utility model. Better, Better understanding, understanding of, of utility, utility models. models. A utility model right protects new ideas applied as devices related to the shape or construction of articles to make them easier to use. A utility model is thus called a petty patent that is applied to machines, instruments, or daily necessaries. For instance, when you feel the need for more storage space around the laundry area, the space above a washing machine could be used more efficiently. That's how this storage rack was created. Or a replaceable sheet of a floor mop can be replaced easily and stays on securely by applying simple ingenuities. This can be considered a petty patent. What's the clear difference between utility model and patent? Let me explain it even further. A patent is for an invention of a product a method or a method for producing something. A utility model is a device related to the shape or construction of articles. So, a patent refers to a totally new invention, while a utility model is an improvement made to what already exists. Is that right? That's right. For example, a patent is for the invention itself of PlayStation 2, and the utility model is related to a mechanism which makes the logo rotate horizontally or vertically on the tray. I got it. Then a pencil will be a patent product, and making a pencil hexagonal shape or adding an eraser to the pencil would be a utility model. For patents, to invent something is such a high hurdle to jump. Meanwhile, utility models are often referred to as a small inventions. The ideas coming from this could make it easier to use, or would it be great if this and that get combined? By describing such inspirations in drawings and in writing, you may be able to obtain a utility model right. We have listed the difference between patent and a utility model in a chart. Is it true that patent applications require substantive examinations, but that's not the case for utility models? Yes, it is. As to filing documents, the format and the method for utility model and patent applications are quite similar. Substantive examination principle is applied to patent application, which checks the contents of application before right is granted. However, non-substantive examination principle is applied to utility model applications 
in order to expedite the grant of rights. And isn't there a difference in the duration of these two types of rights? Yes, there is. The duration of protection is 20 years for patents from the filing date and 10 years for utility models. Next, let's move on to designs. Designs, that is, the issue of granting design rights. Better, Better understanding, understanding of, of designs. designs. Design rights are granted to the original designs of products. Appealing to consumers' tastes, the design of a product functions as the face of the product, like a logo or a trademark. The design system can encourage creation of product designs and contribute to the development of industry through protection and utilization of relevant rights. The design right is a right to protect newly created designs as the property of the designers. Then, would visual arts such as painting be considered for a design right? Design rights are granted only for industrial designs applied to goods mass-produced. Therefore, individual works of art are not considered for the grant of design rights. Designs of typical products including cars, mobile phones, furniture, writing utensils, or packaging containers from almost all types of industries are considered for the grant of design rights. Design rights are industrial property rights that protect the originality of designs. So many things around us have been registered for design rights. For example, do you know what this is? This is instant ramen. Which part of this ramen? It's here. This small cup in the middle. I see. This cup is for a raw egg to be placed on. Even something like this has been registered for a design right. Yes, it has. Unique designs like this can be considered for design rights. It's based on a tiny idea, but still is a proper design right. Then, how can you make a design registration? Here are the procedures. First, you submit filing documents to the Japan Patent Office. Then, your application goes through a formality examination to check the completeness of the documents, followed by a substantive examination. From what kind of viewpoint is a substantive examination conducted? The points of examination are 1. If a design can be used for an industrial purpose 2. If the design is brand new and 3. If the new design is not easily created by anyone else after a design passes the examination, it's ready to be registered. You then pay the annual fees, and the design is registered. That's right. Then, Design Gazette is published informing the public of the establishment of a new design right while describing the contents of the right. Designs for cars, plastic bottles, etc. are protected by design rights. Now, let's move on to trademarks. Better, Better understanding, understanding of, of trademarks. trademarks. When we buy goods or services, we tend to use a company logo or a name of goods or services that is considered a trademark as a landmark for our purchasing decisions. Meanwhile, companies establish and maintain their brand image by providing better goods or services and investing in marketing effort to earn consumers' faith. Consumers then feel comfortable with the brands they trust. A trademark is sometimes called a quiet salesman, playing an important role to represent actual goods or services. Trademark rights protect logos or names of goods or service as properties. Trademarks are registered as a right for the combined use with goods or services, prohibiting others from copying and using the already registered trademarks. Duration of trademark right is a unique feature. How long is the duration of a trademark right? The duration of a trademark right is 10 years from the date of the registration. However, it can be renewed as many times as the right holder wishes, 
so the right, in fact, can last forever. One old trademark in Japan belongs to Kamenoko Tawashi, which was registered in the 45th year of the Meiji era. The 45th year of the Meiji era is the year 1912, almost 100 years ago. Precisely. Patents expire 20 years from the filing date, but brand or trade name can be used for such a long time by continuously renewing the trademark registration. This may encourage you to look for familiar trademarks around you. How do you file an application for trademark registration? Here are the procedures. After submitting a trademark application, the contents of the application gets published. The submitted application then goes through a formality examination to ensure the prescribed format was followed. Then, a substantive examination is performed to check whether all the requirements are fulfilled. When the application passes these examinations, the Japan Patent Office decides to register the trademark. You pay the registration fee and the trademark is granted. A certificate of trademark registration is sent to the applicant. It's apparent that trademark rights are deeply ingrained in our daily lives. 